I'm Ashley Hagen. I'm our scientific and digital editor for the American Society for Microbiology. And today I'm joined by Emily Elo Fadrosh, who has pursued research interests in microbial ecology and metagenomics at the Joint Genome Institute. Welcome, Emily. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. We're so excited to speak with you. So to start with, I'd love to ask you a little bit about what is the focus of your research? Uh, right. Well, so I'm at Berkeley Lab at the Joint Genome Institute, and we're really interested in developing tools and methods to uh, explore all of the metagenomic data that's been generated um, as part of our user facility, as well as across the research community, and using genome-resolved uh, metagenomic approaches to try to better characterize the uncultivated microbes and viruses uh, across diverse environments. Oh, that's so exciting. And is there something in particular that's happening in your lab right now that you are um, really excited about or that you'd like to share with listeners? Right. So um, we're really at a watershed moment, I feel like, in the microbiome research field. And we're currently um, benchmarking the latest and greatest tools for doing meta uh, genome resolved metagenomics to try to identify not just the bacteria and archaea and viruses, but also the eukaryotic microbes across samples. And we're hoping to regenerate an updated catalog of these uncultivated microbes um, to really better explore the diversity um, of these organisms across oceans and soils and even human habitats. And we believe that having these kind of foundational resources and catalogs will really be critical to advance the microbial sciences. Oh, that's amazing. So what, what can we find from these uncultivated microbes that might be of benefit to us today? Yeah, it's, um, I think, really um, up to the imagination almost. There are um, new um, mechanisms for um, handling um, different metabolisms. There's new functions that we're just now exploring uh, within this microbial dark matter that we uh, call it. Um, there's just really um, very new, exciting ways that um, microbes and viruses and even eukaryotic organisms are able to live and adapt and thrive. And you can imagine how um, better understanding uh, these processes and these functions um, can be used for all sorts of different uh, ways of um, developing products, developing uh, new tools across biomedical research, across the environmental sciences. So I think it's really um, a, a lot of opportunity to uh, better understand uh, the diversity and evolution of um, the, these microbes across diverse systems. Oh, I love that. So many possibilities um, and so much room for exploration. So exactly. what, what do you find most rewarding about your work? Um, yeah, I would say um, there's probably three main things that are really exciting. Um, so being able to do basic research like this um, to really generate the foundational knowledge about um, microbes and, and how they um, live and thrive in environments um, and contributing to really a larger body of knowledge um, about how the world works. Um, I also feel very fortunate to be at the Department of Energy National Lab System, where we have a foundation of team science and be able to combine my scientific interests, personal scientific interests with uh, service to the broader research community um, as part of the Joint Genome Institute user facility. Um, and then lastly, I'd say just being able to work with amazing scientists and engineers um, who are amazing, not just for um, their the work that they do, but also um, who they are as people. And so that's really what gets me motivated each day um, to do really exciting science um, and to be able to get to work with um, really great teams of people. So without giving away too many spoilers, what will you be speaking about for the President's Forum at ASM Microbe 2024? Yeah, well, I, I'm just, it's such a privilege to be invited to the President's Forum. I've been attending ASM Microbe meetings um, for years now. And um, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to talk about um, this work to um, develop genome-resolved metagenomics um, and develop catalogs and kind of foundational resources for the microbial sciences from uncultivated microbes and viruses and eukaryotic, 
uh, eukaryotic organisms, um, but also the importance of uh, creating resources and infrastructure that can support all of this data that's being generated, um, new tools, new ways of working with the data. Um, and then lastly, really focusing on communities of scientists and how scientists can work together um, across this you know, ecosystem um, of, of science and of society um, to make sure that we're really doing science that advances uh, the, the world we live in and advancing society as a whole. And what do you hope the audience will take away from your talk? Um, well, I, I hope that they'll be inspired to um, work across um, new areas of research that maybe they hadn't considered to be able to use uh, ASM microbe as a way to network and to meet not just old colleagues, but new colleagues and develop new ideas. And, and also thinking about how sequence data and all of the data that um, is being generated or will be generated in the future, how that can be really used as an enabling uh, tool to be able to advance science. I love that so much. So what does ASM and coming to ASM Micro mean to you? Yeah, I was, um, maybe this says something about my age, but um, I've been an ASM member for almost 20 years. Um, my, my first ASM meeting was in 2010 as a graduate student. And um, it was just one of those um, meetings where it was big and overwhelming, but it was also just so exciting and inspiring to think about um, all of the people who are convened. Um, I presented a poster and had an opportunity to, you know, really talk with a, a number of people that I would have never met before. Um, and so um, I've had a, a really long history with ASM and it's just, um, it's almost like coming home in a lot of respects um, on an annual basis. Mm. So this is kind of a good segue, but why should others consider attending ASM Microbe 2024 this year, which will be taking place in Atlanta, Georgia? Yeah, um, I mean, for, for all of the reasons I just said, it, it's just a really exciting and um, in inspiring meeting to go to. Atlanta is a, a wonderful place um, to have. Um, the meeting, there's just so much great microbiology happening within Atlanta. It's a fun uh, city to be in. Um, the program itself is um, really exciting in terms of all of the new science that will be uh, covered and all of the different um, um, activities that will be part of the meeting. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, we have a lot of really great activities um, from my team um, that will be shared at, at the, the meeting. So outside of your talk, what are you most excited about um, when you attend Microbe this spring? Yeah, I'm uh, really excited about these new mini conferences um, that the Microbe uh, Committee is uh, convening. Um, there's a, a couple different um, mini conference sessions that are going to be held. Um, I'm also really excited about, um, you know, the the different kind of cross cutting um, sessions that will be happening. So there's, um, I think, just a lot of really great science and networking opportunities that that, that will happen. Mm 